I want to show off this beautiful little SS Stewart banjo, what we might call a Lady Stewart. I believe these were, uh, n believe it or not, not marketed as travel banjos or child banjos, but as lady banjos, banjos for the ladies. Check out some of this pretty inlay on it. This is not as fancy as some of the Stewarts we've shown here, but fancy enough. This one was restored by our friend Kyle Van Meter. He, Kyle made this lovely reproduction maple bridge that's on it. I'll try to let y'all see there. Note how thin this bridge is. Note that it's just one solid piece of sugar maple. So Kyle Van Meter did all the work to clean this banjo up, made that bridge. Got an original tailpiece on it, the Stuart tailpiece. Let's look under the hood. So it's got that um, rosewood interior on the rim. Note the hex screws. One of the first things you can do when you're looking at these antique banjos is flip it over and look for hex screws versus the domed slotted screws. The slotted screws typically indicate a cheaper instrument and the hex screws indicate something that they had to put a little bit more effort into. Look at the you see the stamps here that have the Stuart proof marks and a, what are we looking at? Is that a, a serial number? The serial number on this one, 6704 on the rim. It matches the serial number on the dowel. So that's worth noting. So you know that this, this came from the factory like this. Very important to have those two ebony wedges in the heel. Stuart was just crazy about stamping stuff. He stamps all over everything to prove that it was genuine. Also, another thing you look for, it's got the uh, ebony heel cap. The cheaper banjos will typically have no heel cap at all. Or you can look and tell that it's not true ebony. That appears to be a true ebony heel cap to me. And we've got a real pretty grain in this cherry neck. One piece, typical Stuart cherry neck. This is a nice one. We got nice tuners in it. Not the original tuners, I don't think, but very nice antique tuners. Note the bone nut. I don't think I showed that earlier. Solid bone nut. Um, I don't know if I showed this. I like that. That inlay there is pretty. And it's got the spun over rim and just a nice white calfskin head. I'm not sure what the diameter is on this, so I'm going to measure it right here in front of y'all. Nine inch diameter rim. So that's a little nine inch rim. I don't know if this is, is this, does this constitute a pony banjo? <laughs> I think, yeah, I think ponies and ladies were the same size. That's a nine inch rim with a 22 and a half inch scale. Yeah, oh yeah, 22 and a half inch scale. So the, the scale on this. And to measure scale, folks, you measure from the nut to the bridge. So that's about 22 and a half. I mean, right now we've got the bridge set at like 22 and 3 eighths, but we may, be, we may not have it set perfectly, but. Okay, friends and neighbors, not a whole lot else to show. So a lady banjo, a pony banjo, whatever you want to call it. Nice, fine SS Stewart example. If you appreciate what we do here, we'd love it if you gave us a thumbs up. We'd love it if you subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
Leave us a comment in the comment section below the video. Join the conversation. Best of all, you'll see a link appearing over here or something. That link will take you to the Patreon group. We'd love if you signed up on Patreon and became a subscriber. Patreon.com slash Clifton Hicks. Okay, everybody. Thank you for looking. Thank you.